I'd say the most rewarding thing about being a painter is wanting to get up in the morning and go to work and enjoying your work. And I think the whole the whole point of me doing this and making this leap of faith to being a professional artist was so that my labor, my hours spent in the world were enjoyable. My name is Jacques Villun. I'm a representational painter from Cape Town, South Africa. I work exclusively from life, painting what I see rather than ideas or concepts. And for me, it's more about the process of doing it. It's a way that I've chosen to live my life. And most days, almost every single day, I just get up and I explore this beautiful city and try to paint it. And it's extremely, extremely rewarding. I try not to think too hard about where I go and what I paint. I often return to places that I've seen while running or driving around the city or out with friends, either in the mornings or late afternoon. So I've got half a day in the studio because you can really only paint from sunrise to midday and midday to, to sunset because of the way the shadows change. Otherwise, you end up mixing the shadows around too much. Painting from life, I think, is so special because the universe is just always beyond our grasp and it's as if you're striving to, to reach something bigger than yourself. You're trying to reach that which is perfect in its wholeness. And the very act of doing it is riddled with mistakes and, and fraught with human problem. But each time you do it, it's slightly better and slightly closer to that thing that you're chasing, that perfect painting. And thus you kind of give in to that, that imperfection and instead spend your life enjoying what you're doing and just being just very present and grounded in, in the moment. Uh, people often ask me, oh, isn't this so difficult to do as an artist, living a life of an artist? Well, yes and no. I think I've got a pretty rewarding life. I think right now, Touchwood is some of the happiest I've been in a long time. I just had to go outdoors and paint. And I had done a few workshops and I'd, I'd painted quite a bit outdoors. But it was really once I just got up and worked every single day that I started to make a career out of it. And now this is all I do every single day. Um, and, I, and I love it. I love every minute of it. Um, I think dealing with people is really interesting and really difficult. Um, I get asked a lot of really weird questions. I'm a bit just perplexed. I mean, stuff like, my granny doesn't paint like that, through to, I think the most common is, why don't you just take a photograph and go home and do it in the studio? The way that we experience the world is very different to how a camera will represent reality. It's very easy for me to see when a, a painting is done from a photograph. And I, I don't particularly like it, to be honest. And I don't like when I paint from a photograph, something always feels a bit off. When I work from life, the, these kind of softer edges and inconsistencies come in, make it feel more real, more present for me. And at the end of the day, I'm representing reality. I'm representing my own experience of, of the physical. I think that kind of accuracy, something I strive for, you know, being correct every single time, but of course it's never correct. Um, quite frankly, it's never, <laughs> never good enough for me and I don't think it ever will be, but you know, at least I can learn from it and um, I can get a bit better the next time. Yeah, you're never quite happy with your work. So get up the next day and, uh, and work. I just know that I'm happy here. <laughs> Um, and I guess that's why I do it. That's why I paint, because it makes me happy. And if my paintings can make someone else happy, then that makes me happy. You know, if someone comes and they, and they say, oh, that, that, that really reminds me of this place, or oh, that, like, I've been there at that exact time of day, or it doesn't have a title or anything, and people can spot it straight away, that feels quite good, I guess. And I guess the reason why I do it 
The reason why I'm a representational painter above all else is that the act of representing becomes an act of reverence for everything. And I think that is humbling and that makes it worthwhile. Yeah, representation as a reverence is definitely a reason to do what I do. Thank you.